I know a scene I want to have with Mason yeah. from the last episode. What's up, well, everybody? I, Hi. I know a scene that I wanted to have with Mason from the last episode, too, that's now completely irrelevant. Welcome. Welcome to episode 12 of Burning Crowns, first episode of 2017. Uh, my first stream since the new year as well. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope everyone's doing okay. Hope you guys had a good new year. Um, yeah, we're playing Burning Wheel today. So we're going to burn some wheels. Um, this is a competitive racing game. <laughs> no, it's really not. I want to add, like, I think you're being, like, is really slackerish of you that you only now host a stream in 2017. What with it being, like, almost 24 hours since uh, since New Year's. So boo on you. Uh, I mean, it's only been 10 hours for him. Yeah, so, like, even worse, right? 10 yeah. whole hours. Straight up slacking, right? Yeah. So, anyways. So, how's everyone doing? AP, how are you? Muted. That's how it is. Yep. What I said was, I'm doing pretty okay. My cat attacked me before the stream, which is when I turned my microphone off, apparently. <laughs> uh, Kelsa sent me a dice bag shaped like an octopus. And I took it out of its packaging and left it on the table. And the cat picked it up and ran off with it. I couldn't find it for about 10 minutes. And then I realized the cat was laying its entire body on top of it. And now it just drags it everywhere. <laughs> so I don't have a dice bag anymore. <laughs> I have a cat toy. Handmade from California. Yep. The cat has claimed it as their own now. That's New Year's. Boy. Well, I hope you had a good New Year's anyways. Daniel, you were the first of us to have New Year's to be entered That's 2017. True. It's true. Ahead of the curve, as always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, turns out GMT plus one celebrates New Year a, a good solid uh, while before you lots, lovely lots over in the States do. So, uh, yeah. some festive times, mostly chill stuff because. Every now and again, you just need a New Year's Eve to not be like an explosive party of loud noises and wild movement. Yeah. So, just been looking forward to the new year. Yeah, 2017, year of something. What? What's? What's 20? What should be the motto of 2017? What's the slogan? This is like, this is an all play. This is an all play question. What is it? What was that? Uh, Life's that fair and then you die? <laughs> Alcohol is the only way to get through this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 2017. Keep him coming. Learn oh, to self-medicate. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Damn. It's rough. Dark. Yeah. Uh, wreckage. Wreckage. Yeah. Hi. What? What's up? Good evening. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Good after whatever. Um, how's it going? Yeah. Pretty bad. Uh, let's fuck this piglet. Yeah. And um, Sam. Sam um, hello. I am. Uh, I'm good. I visited a friend in Chicago for New Year's. Um, and I am uh, operating on very little sleep as a result. So I'm in character for Father Demetrius. Only I was out celebrating New Year's instead of fretting about the apocalypse. Um, so there's that. Um, and yeah, other than that, it was good. Uh, the cabbie that took me home from the train station really wanted to talk to me about politics. And that was interesting. I uh, kind of just tried to smile and nod, but he really wanted a uh, an actual response from me. So that's uh, terrifying. One of those situations. <laughs> that's that's so sc dude. Just drive the car. He doesn't want to come home. Don't force me to make social interactions. What is this? Space especially I'm especially late at night when you want to go home. You're like, dude, I'm gonna fall asleep. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about this right now. Yeah. yeah, it was uh, it was an interesting experience, but um, all around good time, and I'm super excited. 
to play my first role playing game of the new year. Yeah, so this is this is a new year, new beginnings. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and um, start figuring out our beliefs and everything for this week, shall we? So, sure thing. Let's do this. So let me bring up. I have a uh, player document that I keep all my notes on. Okay, so let's talk about beliefs and everything. Um, Count Ronald. So we got, you know, Burning Wheel. Based yeah, around Burning beliefs, Wheel. So. I want I want to start with my instincts, which I I traded up at the end of last week. Uh, finally, changing them out. Yeah. I always assume Demetrius will back my plans, never allow my dreams to remain dreams. I always offer deals before the knives come out. Uh, my beliefs are I must look. Oh, sorry. I must find a steward to look after my business interests here. Progress and Sumeray must be put on the search for Fyodor's sister and whatever other resources are required to do it. Whether anyone claims this land or not, a fully secured road to Restov is important to my business interest here. Finishing the barracks is a priority. Oh, this is good. Good stuff. Don't let your dreams be dreams, kids. Count Swan bumper stick. <laughs> <laughs> that's um, that's where all the resources come from. I have two of my three beliefs, so I need one more second to to finish these up here. Um, okay. If someone else wants to go, sure, I'll go. So uh, yeah, I have a uh, I have uh, my uh, the following beliefs. Uh, I have come to this region in the hope that I can glimpse who I am through its cultivation and exploration. With the bandits neutralized, consolidation will no doubt be on the minds of the men in power. Uh, I will have. I will make them take my advice uh, for development of the post and plan out its expansion so I can accommodate recent arrivals. Believe number two. Tale and song are filled with the folly of those who would carry the weight of the world alone. Uh, though this is the green belt, I am greener still. I will befriend someone among the local pathfinders, outriders, rangers, uh, or uh, all rangers, so I can pick their brains on what is what in the region and take their counsel before venturing into the wildlands in the future. And lastly, secrets are the blood of mystery. Mystery is the root of fate itself. Every person, every place, all of them have secrets, and this region is no different. It is said that a shrine to Desna was abandoned here long ago. The shrine is supposed to hold a brass pillar engraved with a kana. This may help shed some light on the disappearances, or it may hold secrets that I could leverage against the world. I will find the pillar and claim what it holds. And for my instincts, I'm looking at always accept a worthy task, always lash out before backing down and if i failed blame it on something else yes all right i've finished up mine um i've got uh only the strong wall shelters humanity from the storm i've seen the the face of the enemy in this land i must learn its name still working on that one um Belief number two, Mason is a lover of secrets. If he cannot be bought with gold, perhaps I have another way. Um, it is time to think bigger. The bandits are dealt with. It is time to begin the next phase of the preparation for the end. Um, I, call, I mean, you know this as much as anyone else. Um, are you deliberately leaving that vague so you want fate? Um... I want to... You know, like starting with I, something? Is usually um, a good way to convert a belief like that into uh, something persona worthy? Yeah, sure. But you don't have to. I just was asking. Yeah, I'm going to go starting with reporting to the crown. Yeah. I pretty much, um, I don't know, when I kind of look at beliefs, I mean, as a GM, I have to, but as a player, you should always kind of be asking yourself, how how would I earn Persona for this? Is kind of what you should be asking yourself about. My original um, plan was to just, like, insert whatever, like, we decided to end up doing into that, but um, I'll just make it a little more specific early on. That's fine. Okay. Nice. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. So, um, oh, we, we have record as well. Yes. Uh huh. Onan. Uh, 
my prize for this waste of time is a temple of Gorham and everything but pomp and circumstance. I will send for the proper deacons to make the proper ceremonies. As is traditions, the tools of the enemy will be the foundation. I will use the stag lord's helmet for this ceremony. Uh, Count Swan has been a constant annoyance and obstacle for my patience. I thought it was strength to endure his disrespect in favor of the oncoming challenge. It turns out that that challenge never existed, and therefore I have been a, his fool for no reason. Uh, pay him back for this insult. I am now bound by duty to oversee the conversion of the Vantress forces to a temple. Once it is resolved, I will leave to find a real challenge. Uh, Thrain says it is a great waste when a man makes mistakes a pawn for a knight. My time here has been a waste. My instincts are never judge a book by its cover. Always take time to meditate on the word of Gorham, and when others hesitate, take charge. So, um, then I think I think uh, we're going to start with more news to um, Count Swan at the fort. Um, so, another uh, hunter has gone missing. Uh, in fact, it they left at the same time as uh, Fyodor. Um, only just now, they were kind of like holding out that he would come back. But um, Victor hasn't come back. Wasn't it Fyodor's sister? Uh, was that Natalia? Was no, that, the no. sister is the one who came to you with the mission. I believe. That's probably right. The, the I don't know. Sister. I mean, I wrote the belief at the end of last week that said, in the search for Fyodor's sister, I think Fyodor was the person who came to me. You yeah. Were, no, that's you right. described it as a male laborer. Yeah. yeah. No, you were right. Yeah, uh, it's, it's the okay. hunter. And I believe I had her name. I wrote her name down as Titania. Uh, mm-hmm. I didn't catch right. that. You or Yulia. Natalia? No, uh, T-A-T-Y-A-N-A. Titania. All right. Tatiana. Um, so, yeah, another um, Victor, the hunter, has gone missing. Apparently at the same time. Coincidence? I, th- I think there's a number of people who had things they wanted to do at the last episode who are jumping at a chance to do them. Yeah. <laughs> Before I go find Garess and give him a piece of my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, well, both me and Demetrius were going to talk to Mason in turn. Yeah, I believe we agreed that you were going to go first. If I, I do believe that that was the case. I'm fine with that. All right. So uh, the scene that we had set but didn't have time for was uh, leaving the group meeting after we had created a fund for everybody. Uh, That's true. Uh, and uh, Demetrius wanted to talk to you. I wanted to talk to you. But Father Demetrius was the one to say, we should probably talk in private, so I'll leave you two to it. Um, yeah. So I probably walk you to the battlements. Um which at this point in time with the bandit threat resolved and it's, you know, uh, early evening probably doesn't even have any watchmen on it. Maybe one or two that are sort of listlessly patrolling. Yeah. Uh, and then Owen says, uh, Mason. My lord. Just spoken with, uh, Ronald Swan, uh, to my great chagrin, I have attempted to follow your advice uh, and bury the hatchet between us. That is uh, wonderful, my lord. To which he has uh, poo-pooed me yet again. Um, not, not something that I didn't expect, but unexpected in that uh, conversation was uh, his threats to burn you at the stake uh, for your sorcery. Uh, oh my. If you didn't kowtow to him. Uh, I'm going to be honest, Mason, your uh, advice is the only reason I have continued to try and work with Ronald Swan instead of simply running him through with a sword. Uh, After the display of this evening, I would like very much for you to once again find cause and means to convince me away from what I feel is his deserved 
comeuppance at this point. If I may, my lord, um, it is surprising to me to hear that uh, the, the good Count Swan would threaten to burn me at the stake. Then again, he does seem to like his wine, and also he is um, he is a, a person of, of loud and very direct communication. I don't think he, I don't think he means so. I don't believe there has actually been a case of witch burning in this area for a long time, and were that to be the case. At least I would have the king's justice see to it that I got a fair trial. All the same, I appreciate you coming to me with this request. And a, a kind of heavy look falls on Mason's face as they like peer over the battlements and they, they seem to like turn the information they have about the situation in their heads. And then finally they look to you and they say, it has come to be my impression from just picking up the conversation around the fort that your run-ins and disagree, uh, disagreements with Count Swan is very, it, it is publicly known that the two of you don't see eye to eye on everything. And that in some cases there have been um, grief between the two of you. In that sense, you have weathered his slings and arrows well. No man could raise his voice condemning you for acting rashly uh, nor claim that you were just uh, lashing out at, at his provocation in a thin-skinned, sudden knee-jerk reaction. No, you have you have borne the burden, and it has come to a point where it is enough for you. Very well. May I may I borrow may I borrow your sword, my lord? Uh, there's a pause and a quirked look. Um... And uh, Onan says, if this is for some chintzy metaphor, I, uh, Agoramite treasures his sword quite dearly. I see. It is a family heirloom. May I ask you then, I shall not, I shall not touch it, but may I ask you to, to put it here? And I just gesture to the ground in front of your feet. I do so. Then I, uh, I go to another guard on the parapet. I ask him to, to hand me his knife. And uh, after doing so, I take that and my own walking stick. And I put the knife and walking stick over cross with the sword um, standing upright as if balancing on top of them, um, forming a kind of like downwards hammer, if you will. Um, in this triumvirate that I am symbolizing at your feet. Who would you say you are between the staff, the knife, and the sword? It depends on the metaphor you're making. True, uh, as metaphors do. Uh, as you have not yet made the metaphor or assigned a symbolic Is this a Rorschach, a Rorschach test? <laughs> <laughs> Public guesswork, then, my lord. Who would you uh, say you were of these three implements? Since you used my sword, <laughs> I would have to be the sword. <laughs> Unfortunately, my lord, that is not how I see it. Behold, over cross in conflict, we have a knife and a stick. The knife is a very sharp implement meant for killing. It is a tool of war and consequently it represents you. The stick that I have put down is not a tool of war, but it has a wider reach than the knife. This is Count Swan. And balancing on top of both of them, standing tall and proud, dangerous and sharp and majestic, is Demetrius, who has the Sir Tova name, whose family legacy carries a greater gravitas than any of the two of you combined and who only profits whenever the two of you butt heads. In grinding yourselves down like this, you only empower him. So when you come to me seeking advice on why you shouldn't kill Swan, I must ask you, what is it you want to get from him? Do you want revenge? Do you want uh, the, the reimbursement of your honor? Do you want justice for your house and name? 
or do you simply want to lash out in anger? All of these are fine, and I will judge you for none of them, but I must know to advise you properly. It is true that he has insulted my house and my name and my honor, and there is valid reason to seek revenge for all of those, but that doesn't bother me nearly as much as the look on Oleg's face right now. Mere hours after returning a ring of great importance to him and seeing the heights of unreachable joy, Sir Ronald has used his influence to yet again break a promise and break a heart. And that is the future of Ronald Swan. It is how he has treated me and it is how he will treat everyone. A string of damaged broken promises left behind him in sought of his own power. And were that he was an honorable man who respected me and my family, I wouldn't give that a passing thought. But given that anyone who slows, shows the slightest amount of disobedience, the slightest amount of not willing to bend over and lick his boots, gets threatened with the pyre or with not being a noble anymore. He is a man whose quest for power more than irritates me, it frightens me. If that is the case, then I shall offer you my advice as you have so, so prudently <clears throat> asked. If in your heart you feel that some kind of recompense must be made for the honor and veracity of um, of Oleg for what manipulation you, you deem to have been him inflicted. And if you feel that your honor has been slighted, I see only one, one sound course of action. You must challenge him. Not death. Don't bother with that because there is no cause for it. Your house, it would merely mean your houses would go to war and more people would suffer and die. But you can regain what honor he has slighted and you can strike a blow for the wrong you believe to have been done to Oleg by offering, no, by demanding to engage him in honorable combat. He will no doubt choose a champion. I would if I were in his shoes. But to do a duel to first blood, as the laws of nobility accord you the right to do, and Swan will either accept, in which case you will fend very capably for your cause, if you win, which I suspect you will, then his, uh, his slights will be implicitly retracted, you will have, your honor will be reimbursed, and everyone will know that Onan Solstand stood in defense of Oleg the tradesman's honor. If Swan re denies you the right to this duel, he, this, you will accomplish the same thing. Only he will besmirch his honor and his, his, his reputed courage in doing so. You have, that, you have that option, given that you are a gentleman of blood. It seems like such a half measure. Again, I must state, it depends on what you want. If it's for petty revenge, you will never be sated if not to drive your sword through his heart. If it is for greater reasons, then let the realm know and let them know the right way. Murder most foul will not prove you right. It will just make you a criminal and cause war between your houses. Honorable duel will prove your honor and will prove your side of the argument. You have a conversation with Father Demetrius after this, Mason. I must meditate on what you have advised me. Uh, when you are finished with him, seek me out and I will give you my answer. I shall. 
I wish you peace of mind, my lord. And right. Mason turns to look out uh, from over the parapets again. Uh, and I, I, I like. I think I imagine that I have informed Demetrius that I will be here, and that like he can just come up and have a talk whenever I am at his disposal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember if if you agreed to meet me or, or after or what what it was, but who cares? So either way, yeah. No, I think I think maybe I I like invite you to I come out to greet you and in, invite you to to come to my rooms, um, and I say uh, this is. The conversation I wish to have is not one that I can risk being overheard. In that case, uh, are you sure you should be telling yeah. me, my lord? So what are you going to do to make sure it's not? <laughs> uh, I would. Uh, I can offer you my guarantees that I'm trustworthy with such a matter, but you haven't known me for that long. No, but I need you. Not for something simple, but for something grand and meaningful. Go Come, on. please. I invite I you. Well. I, I, I'd say, uh, please come speak with me in the privacy of my room. If you... Most assuredly. I, yes. I will be right there, my lord. And I, I, I just follow you to your demises, to your sure. premises, not demises. Missile. Yeah, so I, I think like I like there's a, a, a fire going. Um and uh, I think I like give you there's like probably water but no wine. Um but I like offer you some anyway. Um and uh, and then I, I, I like sort of bid you to sit. Um and I say uh I Apologize for the conversation you had with Count Swan earlier today. He is not always the most subtle of men. It has uh, it has come to be my impression that men in your and Swan's position don't usually benefit from subtlety. Well, it certainly depends. I uh, I can see that you have no interest in coin for coin's sake. I want to add just like as a comment to what Mason looks like when you say this. Mason feels totally validated that you're saying this. And this is like lifting them up. It's like, yeah, damn right I don't. But like they, they still need to eat, right? So yeah, they're like, yeah, no, yeah, of course. My principles, hooray me. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um, and I say, um, I have met men and women like yourself. But I don't want to buy your services, Mason. Oh. What I need is a consultant. You have knowledge that I believe is old and that few possess. Would I be correct in this? You are correct in assuming so, my lord. I have a theory that I've been trying to work out. I need your aid. If you give me your aid in this, I will share with you a deep and ancient secret of the Church of Abadar. Mason wets their lips uh, <laughs> and uh, and look at you intrigued. And they're like, um, you, would, you would have me as your consultant? I will oblige. It would be my pleasure, in fact. Are you familiar with ancient histories, stories of times long past? Not as much as I would like. All the same, I am no novice to the subject. In these stories, we see priests that can level a wall merely by beseeching the power of their god. We see sorcerers who can call down fire and lightning not in such displays as I've seen you do, but in such a way that it is truly catastrophic. In the stories 
of ancient times that I've read, there was a, a priest that strode forth and ended a siege merely by speaking a word. But <clears throat> such miracles, such powers seem to have leaked from the world, slowly dissipated. I can do things that nobody in my church has been able to do for I've seen things you can't believe. Years. A tech ship off the stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I had, if I had been born 100, 200, 300 years ago, who knows how common my powers would be. But now, no. I believe something is awakening in this world, Mason. Something that's waking up these old powers. Sorcerers that knew nothing but paltry tricks, can now summon fires. You are correct in your assumption, my lord. There is indeed an awakening of sorts happening, that much is certain. Some of us, of my kind, have been preparing for such an event to occur for a long time. What do you ask of me? Merely by confirming that this is the case for a, a sorcerer, one with powers that I cannot understand, is a great help. I believe that these are confirming signs for a prediction that is long in coming and recently discovered among my faith. I believe you've heard me talking about it, have you not? The end of the world. Hopefully we can avoid that, but yes. I have heard of it. I do not count myself a scholar on the subject. I would like to engage your counsel on that matter. I'm most curious to hear what the Church of Civilization has to say on the subject. Yes, but I need your guarantees. If I'm going to share with you this knowledge that is shared with but a handful of people within the church, I need some sort of guarantees. What would you have me guarantee? Do you wish for me to not share the secret? Is that it? I wish for you to hold on to it until a time when I may have, you, have need of you using it. What is more important to me is I need allies. These ancient powers are waking up for a reason. They are needed to stop what is to come. Can I be frank with you, my lord? It happens to me so often that I wish to speak my mind in the presence of men whose rank, who, who outrank me so significantly that doing so is dangerous to me. I say, uh, um, I've noticed that myself, but yes, I've brought you here to be honest with you, and I would expect the same. And you shall have honesty. Insofar as I would ever trust a man in a position such as yours to not act in their own best self-interest, but for the benefit and righteousness of all a man who would claim to stop civilized to stop the destruction of civilization may just as easily make such a claim to add a level of spiritual pump to his own ambitious ends i am not accusing you of this i'm merely telling you where from my hesitation stems if you would re if you would stem the tide of darkness no matter what else you might be doing, no matter how vile or how different from what I would want you to do, I will lend you my aid. If I ever see you stand against 
something that threatens us all. Rest assured, old slights will not stop me from standing in your defense. Nice. I, uh, yeah, D- Demetrius sort of leans back in his chair and, and thinks for a moment and says, Is it just my reputation as a Sotova that keeps you from trusting me? Or is it no. something I've done? Mason? No, my lord. All men are untrustworthy. They shouldn't be, but they are. Shit. Some men some men to stand stand to gain more from their untrustworthiness than others. Some people are raised in an environment where <laughs> trustworthiness is like a knife. You use it to carve wood, and in turn, you end up with something useful to you. I do not distrust you more than I... <clears throat> I do not distrust you more than anyone else. When I look upon you, I do not feel a twinge in my stomach greater than when I walk past a total stranger. I do not want to say this to cause you offense, merely to keep you informed. We are being honest, after all. How about this then, Mason? All I ask for now is but a part of your trust, merely a kernel, a grain, and I will fill in the rest of the beach. I will earn your trust, but I need the ability to do so first. Can we agree on this? I would gladly give you such an opportunity. In fact, I say that, that is quite arrogant of me. You would have such opportunity whether I granted it to you or not. But I will gladly cooperate with you. And in time, maybe something, maybe a trust deeper than just that of exchanged goods and services may be earned as has happened for so many other people since time immemorial. I, uh, yeah, he, he nods seriously and says, uh, then as promised, your secret. My particular sect of the church was founded only recently. The impetus for doing so is much older. We found an additional text, an ancient thing. The predictions of a, a prophet, a oracle that Abadar sent in order to warn us of what is to come. This book lies in the capital, in the heart of the Church of Abadar, and is written in an ancient scrawl. I, due to my privilege, you might call it, have actually had the opportunity to read directly from the text. Um, Mason looks upon you with like an increasing level of reverence every word you speak. But that is not the secret. It is a secret. But what I truly wish to tell you is this. After reading that text, I was visited by an, an aspect, a being. And only then did my abilities, my connection, begin to manifest. Very Only true. after reading the book. I, I appreciate you sharing this secret with me. It will stay safe with me. I appreciate that, Mason. Do let me know when you need it to be spoken for your benefit. That is... An interesting way to put it. For the benefit of all, then. 
Do you do you get up to leave? Uh, no, not unless you indicate that I'm free to leave. Uh, I think over like Mason has been like Mason exhibits a general level of reverence for you in general on the premise of you being a miracle worker. And yeah. you being so upfront and frank with them just basically has them more engrossed. And it's only because you're like, you're pushing all their buttons and being like, let's talk about secrets. Let's be honest that they even like, that they speak to you the way they do instead of being like, yes, of course, God, man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I think, I think I like stand up and like turn as though like dismissing you. Um, and then like, if you get up to leave, um, mm-hmm sort of as you're going i like turn and like look over my shoulder as though i like had forgotten something and i say um mason my lord before you go yes. will you take my blessing i would be honored to i i walk over to you and i uh i i uh what do i do what do i do um i i take both knees in front of you yeah um and so trade for all. I will bless him. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think I actually want to like. I don't think I actually want to invoke like a miracle right now because I don't have my my cadre of believers to supercharge my battery. Um, but I think uh, I think I just kind of wanted to to use like my sort of my doctrine and my religious history skills to to just like um, do a, a a blessing upon him. Um, sure. And, well, there's and, there's no test there, so yeah, there's, yeah, there's no, no failure. Not, yeah, not not at all. That's that's. I was just sort of going, you know, with the. Uh, it's it's what okay. Demetrius would do. Demetrius, <coughs> like you're you're conducting something that is like of spiritual significance to my character. Like it is a ritual thing, right? It's like, yeah, you you telling me there is life after death has no mechanical consequence, but is still important to me. Right. Okay. So. Um... While you guys are finishing up, there's definitely uh, more buzz around the camp. There's definitely an air of uh, tension that's brewing between some of the bandits or reformed. Um, what should, what, should we, what should we call them now? What did you give them a name? Uh, they're, my, they're my flock. They're your flock. Okay, I just call them the flock from now on. Um, so there's definitely some tension brewing up between the flock and the hunters right now. Um. Uh, you guys have been kind of like assuaging this, but um, now with the disappearance of another hunter, they believe that there's some bandits operating um, independently, um, taking revenge. I go up and, and I ask a, a hunter who I see believes that. Sure. Uh, I, I stop him and I say, uh, have the bandits ever before caused disappearances? Yeah, absolutely. Uh Especially ones that um, they they wanted to kill instead of ro- uh, rob and kill. Um, fewer tales get back that bandits are operating. I go up to one of the bandits, the flock. Yeah. Have you ever been part of causing disappearances of hunters before? I'm gonna roll a die fate. See if this guy has. <laughs> um. No, but I I know someone who who did. They're they're dead now, but. Sure. Yeah, look. Um, it, is this the mo? The what? Is it the, is this the same method of operating as what you would do, or are these disappearances different? I would. How would I? How would I know? Uh, I guess um, he's he's really trying to read you to figure out what's the answer, so you don't he doesn't get punished. I just want to tell him the right thing. Yeah, so he's like looking at you, like, calm yeah, down, son. Yes. Calm down, son. <laughs> like, he's like looking for the way, so you don't get mad at him. There's no wrong answer here. You've already done the the. You've already returned to our side of civilization. Your, your crimes will be pardoned as promised by Father Demetrius, I assume. Sure, I just don't want to be pardoned by a sword, your your grace. (laughs) I'm just trying to calm things down. 
I want to find out if this is some of your ilk, your previous comrades, or a new threat. I, I mean, I don't... There's no... If they're not one of they're not one of our they're not one of our men. You know that for certain. No, but I mean you you met everyone unless unless someone didn't go to to Mivon. Yes, that would be right? the concern. But like that wouldn't make any sense. That would make no sense for them to hang out up here. Were there any in your member who seemed like this? Sounds like someone operating in uh. By by them the, by themselves doing doing their own thing. Were there any in your number that uh, behind closed doors in the mess hall, everyone whispered wasn't quite right in the head, probably wasn't out here just for the freedom, but for the killing. Uh, well, shit, that's that's a few of us. Um, <sighs> yeah, and he he talks about um, like Borya, talks about <laughs> um. Uh, Mishka um, talks about um, probably something like probably has a, na- a nickname for like some like Spruce. Hmm. And these uh, these three did they have a particular hunting ground? Mm, well, I just reckon reckon the the green belt. Um, yeah. I mean, any anywhere there's good um, good picking. <clears throat> it's been it's been kind of hard going south um since the uh, since the how should I say the uh, since the battles of between you know the battles in the river kingdoms have been kind of picking up a little bit, but yeah, look, we don't do that stuff no more. All right, all right. Thank you for your answer, son. Is that one of my guys? Yeah. Is he wearing the, the key? Yeah. Mason. He's like holding it really tightly. Yes, my lord. Speak with me a moment. Nothing. Um. So yeah, have, like hunters and people I, like really kind of they're like not sure about these people. Like they're lying, you know. In, uh, in fact, what would you do if someone said like? You know, like hearing you talk to this guy, because I assume you're doing it publicly. He's like saying, "Like liar, he's fucking lying." Uh, he knows he's I, out there. Can I walk out for that? Sure. Um. Yeah, I, I think I like walk out as like they're like shouting liar, um, and uh, the uh, I like approach the guy who's who is like talking to to wreckage. Do Do you have a name for him yet that I missed, or should I just come up with a name? Oh, Bob. Um, yeah, no, give him here's here's his name. Uh Osman. Osman. I will say, um Brother Osman, what seems to be the issue? Have you lied to these men? No, sir. I have no. Uh, no, I, uh, and I I don't believe he has. Well I guess he wouldn't say sir he would say sir your grace. What do you say your grace? What would he call me? Just call me father. Father. No father. Or, or no, no, he established they call me prophet. Oh that's right. Yeah. No prophet, no. Um, not I, I will uh i i will just like i'll sort of like look at him like like intensely and like very like beatifically for like a moment um and then i'll i'll turn and i will uh look to the um um the the hunter and i will say uh i see no falsehood in this man i mean did you want to make a test to see if he's lying or uh yeah sure why not? not i mean i mean or i'm gonna assume he's not lying I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna say he's not lying either way, but I would like to know. Okay. Um, I don't have observation uh, though, so <laughs> is that what it is? Uh, is he gonna make a falsehood test against me? The consequences of failure here will be that the um, the rift between hunters and your flock will get worsen. Sure. What's the skill? Um, false. Is it falsehood to or is per- it's perception versus observation versus falsehood, right? So a falsehood it's, it's, is it's not observation. Um, falsehood is just against my will. If well, he's not if okay. To, if we wanted to run it this way, like um, so, so it's my impression that that uh, there's a, like the skill you would use for this is actually aura reading, which is a bit weird. There, like there is um, is there something at stake here with him? Like 
Wow. Yeah. So, so um, the question here. Well, okay. Let me ask you this: Does does Father Demetrius believe um your your sheep? Does he does he believe Osman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and oh, and but there's the big... no test. You yeah. you believe him? He's, he's uh, telling, so you believe he's telling the truth? Yeah, sure. So maybe the test is is me trying because it seemed like. Yeah, no, I think that I think that's fine. So yeah, I, I'll I'll say that I'll say yeah, uh, I see no falsehood in this man. Yeah. I agree with Father Demetrius. I do not believe he is lying. There is no one among the newly assembled flock who is deviating from the agreement. That said. A bandit who was supposed to head south may have lingered, or indeed another threat may have presented itself. Rest assured that we will resolve it. But this is no time for blaming one another just because we are different. So now you're you're now you're trying to publicly calm people down. Yes. Conan? Okay. Very lackadaisically, That's, like like okay. the obvi- the obviously this isn't a problem. Why are we even doing it? I want to add, I, I want to hitch myself to this carriage uh, because this guy's a hunter and I have a belief about snoozing up to the hunters. So um, I'm I'm gonna like put my arm or like uh, like I'm gonna I'm gonna get close to to one of them and be like, oh, this is gonna be okay. I mean I I realize there's trouble, but we will find out what's going on. Don't don't be divided in the meantime. Um, been, he's been cut, he's heated and his... doesn't trust you. Oh, uh, shit. when you do this, um, you know he'd be like, "Back off, witch!" You know, or, or you know, warlock. Whoa, um, whoa, whoa! Like, how do whoa, I? You're friends. Whoa. You're you're friends with the person who's working with these hunt with these um, you know, with with these bandits. Like, why why would I believe? Like, you know, uh, he's just getting very heated. Um, yeah, I, I I look. My immediate reaction to him, like, escalating is to just break down in front of him. I'm just, like, immediately turning on the vulnerability. I'm not giving him resistance. I'm just like, oh, I am hurt. I am so, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. So is, is this guy questioning my, my like, is, was he talking about me when he was saying, like, like, I'm, like, just, like, cooperating and, like, he doesn't believe me or whatever? This hunter. Yeah, kinda. Without well, saying. it is the hunters that are the problem here, not your like your flock is being no, accused. No, the hunters, the hunt. hunters have gone missing, and they think that it's because bandits have been kill are killing them. There, so yeah, there are some yeah. bandits in the woods, and they're killing them. And he thinks that these the your flock knows something about it because they're band they were bandits. Yeah, no, and sure. they're saying I, they don't, and he's saying that they're lying to you. I, I, uh, I, I, and he I, won't I, be calmed down with words because his brother is missing. I, you know, absolutely. Two so people I, are missing. I step forward, and as I do, I like motion. I like do like a discreet motion to have like Sir Zidamar like step up behind me and like just stand behind me. Um, and I will say to him very Is calmly, there a problem here? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, just like very calmly. Like he's probably taller than me. Like I'm oh, like yeah. taller, like impressive looking guy. Um, he's probably like shouting and everything. So, and Demetrius will just say, um. If you continue to accuse the men who I have put my name forward to protect and to guarantee their safety, you are accusing me, Father Demetrius of the House Sotova, prophet of Abadar. Is this what you want to do? Very nice. You're guarant- so he's like, you're guaranteeing the safety of a bunch of traitors and murderers Instead of the safety of of the hunters here, the one the ones who work this land, please, I will, uh, I will, please, I will ask you one more time, and I would suggest that you keep a civil tongue in your mouth when you address. Now, where's Cal Ronald? You, where's Cal are, Ronald? Are you accusing me, or are you not? Where's Cal Ronald? I want to talk to um, Count Ronald. Eric, He's the only one who makes point, sense here. Eric, <laughs> yeah. at this point, um, I would like Mason to like step between the 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 angry hunters person and the uh, uh, and and Demetrius, 
and instead of of like offering words uh i'm gonna i'm gonna look at him and i'm gonna like encourage him to like whoa, whoa remain calm friend i will go and look for them i will take it upon myself to go out and find them today will that calm you down um he's like he he kind of like kicks some dirt and stuff he's like Man, we've already been looking for him. What are you gonna? What? How are you gonna? Like, what more do you think you could do? I I, I like a cog an eyebrow at him, and I was like, and in his mind, I'm I'm projecting into him. I'm causing a flashback which, of him shouting "witch" at me. Yeah. But he's de- But uh, I mean, he's also saying yes. Yeah. But he's yeah. saying it in sure. that way, right? Right. He's being like, yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah. Now? He's like, okay, yeah, cool. but we've already tried that. Is what is really what he's saying? He's like, sure, but we've already tried it. We get. Of we can't find him. Of course you have, as as any friend and family would. I'm going to go and do my part now, too. Okay. Just He's like, just you? I have I a plan. I will take whoever will follow, but I will go alone if I must. I already have a plan to resolve this uh, issue. What's your... Okay. What is it? Are you asking me, random NPC, what my plan is? No, I'm asking you as oh, I'm asking you as a GM. What, what is it? Oh, no. Okay. I I assume you're just gonna continue. Okay. No. All right. You have you have a plan? Yes, I do. Okay. You're looking for the uh, survivors. Uh, Gore and willing, there are some, but uh, that is uh, the wrong step. The first step is to actually discern what has happened to them, and the best way to do that is for myself and any who would dare to uh, retrace their footsteps in the guise of hunters, making ourselves targets if there is a bandit out there targeting hunters, or simply re-encountering a beast if there is a beast. And through the resolution of that encounter, we can discern the fate of your lost loved ones. Onan okay. speaks wisdom. Why don't you follow us? You are more in tune with the land than any one of us bookie or lordy types will ever be. You will be able to find their trail if there is a trail to be found. Fine. And we will follow you. Yeah. Um. He's like, he's like, good. But none of those, um, as he's like pointing to the flock, he's like, none of those are coming with us. They're just gonna alert his friends. Sure. Fine. Very are well. you are you cool with that? I mean, I I kind of defer to Demetrius on this, but Mason is yeah. just chiming in with a like, oh, oh, that's fine. I mean, he, we're just gonna go and prove they had nothing to do with. He it. He looks a little upset, like he wishes Count Swan would show up, but like he he's like. This will this will do. Why don't I go get him? He's like Should an I upset. Go? He's like an upset <laughs> customer at your store right now. Uh, oh, fine. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to say um. I am going to overlook this incident, because I believe that you are speaking in grief, and in desperation for a member of your family. But know this. I am the only Sertova most likely in the entire house, probably likely in, in most of the lineage that would leave your head on your shoulders after the way you just spoke to me. <clears throat> Remember that. Um, he, he probably, I mean, okay. Uh, he probably like spits or whatever. And he's like, yeah, leave it to the Sertovas to ally with murderers and traitors as he like walks off. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh this guys are like they're fierce Roslanders, right? Yeah, I'm. I just um, give me a second because I need to look at. Uh, Sir, yeah, he's, I have he's straight up disrespecting you. Yeah, um, <laughs> I, I think I'm just gonna like gesture to Sir, Sir Zidamar and have Sir Zidamar kill this guy for me. Yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> Wait, I, I uh, yeah. So so. You, okay. you do that, and I assume so. so um, sir, yeah. you nod, and Sir Zadimir, like, storms after this dude. And I interpose. It, yeah. You interpose with Sir Zadimir? Yeah, I will just put a hand on his shoulder and stop him, and I turn to 
uh, Demetrius, and I say, uh, uh, he's the only one who's offered to help us in this endeavor. Could you at least? So okay, your I need, I need, I need opposed roles here, because um, he's basically just gonna like do this and stab this guy. Um, he has an axe, technically, but yeah. All right, well, <laughs> stop short. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. So he like within a few like a mere moments he's going to like hack this dude um like he's gonna like he's going to he has his axe out the guy's walking in behind him he's gonna follow up behind him tap him on the shoulder and then bring an axe down right on his neck right um so that's gonna happen i am only stepping in between him long enough to say to father demetrius he's the only one who's offered to help are you sure this is entirely necessary Okay, so you're gonna get in. You're gonna get in between Sir Zydemir and and the 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 soldier guy, or yeah. and um uh, the woodsman. Just okay, I do that's fine. Point no, out, like he's not gonna attack you. Like get interfering. All right, you're gonna stop him then for a second. I I do want to point out I'm totally justified in my rights as a lord to have. Yo, you, as, you as, absolutely are. Oh. Yeah, I know. So so wait, actually, so actually, not really. You are justified in having this guy uh, arrested, and. Like you can't just kill him. You're gonna. Well, <laughs> you're gonna. Okay, yeah. Fine, fine. I will say. I'll say. Uh. uh Z- Zydemir, stay your hand. We shall deal with this when he returns. Uh, are you like? Are you sure? As like and like Sir Onan's in front of him. Like he's like Sir Onan's like and uh, Sir Zydemir are probably like looking at each other and like he's like uh, walking away and he like sees what was going on and he like fucking runs. Um, yeah, yeah. Right? I uh, I just kind of like I nod to Sir Zydemir and say, uh, it is not worth it. I do not wish to see you and Sir Onan come to blows. I was not going oh, was, to fight him. They're gonna look. They yeah, like you. They look at uh, you know. Like they they're still looking at each other. And like no, that that wasn't like a you got in the way kind of thing. Like they both were just like like yeah, no, we're not gonna fight each other. Like no, we're not, we're not doing that. I mean, maybe someday for some reason, but not now for this. I don't care. Yeah. Well, I won't execute this peasant for now. Then. Oh, how gracious of you. Your magnanimity is boundless. I can <laughs> see already the promises of the uh, Swan rulership coming to fruition. No, but I, I, I think and there is for the peasants. I will, I will not claim that you are not justified in seeking retribution for his heinous words. But, but of course, you know, I'm sure you know, um, Lord Sotova, that when when men's hearts are rent, their tongues gallop. I gave him more than enough opportunity to stay. Mm-hmm. We shall do this upon his return. I agree. He should be punished. But let us first endeavor to find the missing people and then talk of justice. All right. I will agree. Cool. All right. Well, let's go to our first break and then we'll come back and, and do that stuff because we're okay. due. All right. So we'll be back in five minutes. Mm-hmm. 